So what you see here in the video is we have a Raspberry Pi standard camera module version 1.3 this one and then we have a Raspberry Pi 4 okay and then we have a little type C USB cable which will be used in order to power up the Raspberry Pi 4. So basically we will be learning first how we can connect a Raspberry Pi camera module with a Raspberry Pi 4 properly. Okay, so if you look at Raspberry Pi camera module, then you might realize that it is very sensitive to electrostatic discharge. So when you buy a Raspberry Pi 4 camera module, then you have to make sure that you use it gently, take a proper care for electrostatic charges, right? So once you take care of that part, then when you take out this camera module from the standard packaging boxes, what you will see is there is a little CMOS camera sensor, right? And the, the, the interesting part to look for us in terms of connectivity is its flat ribbon cable, okay? So this is the flat ribbon cable that we will going to use in order to connect to Raspberry Pi 4, right? So this is how the CSI cable will look like, right? So if we look carefully, then one end of the CSI cable will look into the blue color and the other end of the flat ribbon cable is into the silver notches right so when it comes to connecting this camera module using this flat ribbon cable to raspberry pi then we have to look for zip 15 csi connector and this is the one zip connector i'm just talking about right so by default um let me just show you a little bit properly so by default, this Z15 connector is pushed down, right? So we have to take the two end gently and stretch it upward. And you see it creates a little cavity where you can plug in this flat ribbon cable, right? And the way it's going to fit into this CSI connector is something like this. We can take this camera module and make sure the, the blue label blue color part will be toward the 3.5 audio jack okay and plug in that way so that it can fit properly into csi connector okay once it is properly fit in take the other end other hand and press the connector okay Okay, and it's now properly fit in. So make sure they touch and um, in the end it will look like this. So this end will be the silver color strip and the other end toward this audio jack will be the blue flat cable, right? Blue color flat ribbon cable. Okay, that's how you're gonna connect to the Raspberry Pi 4. And now because sometimes it is possible that you connect this flat ribbon cable other way around that means in opposite so make sure you do camera connections when your raspberry pi is powered off so make sure you are not connected to the uh, power cable so that you will stay away from the damage once you make sure the connection is proper between your camera module and raspberry pi finally then you will go and connect your power cable means the type c usb cable and you see in the end we powered up the raspberry pi 4 this is how we will going to connect raspberry pi camera module with raspberry pi 4 using csi connector and flat ribbon cable so the first thing before we do anything with the raspberry pi we make sure that we have up to date our operating system so sudo apt get update this will going to uh, install the latest kernel on Raspberry Pi 4 that we are using. I always like to keep my Raspberry Pi up to date, especially the kernel. Then sudo apt get upgrade. So this will uh, install the latest kernel that we have. Okay, and it says now it is up to date. And then uh, the very very important thing when we are using Raspberry Pi camera module is we have to enable the camera interface on Raspberry Pi. Now to enable the camera interface we have to run a command sudo raspi config. So this command will give us the advanced options. So there we have to 
scroll down and select interfacing options and there we select the camera use up and down arrow key and hit enter select the camera and it asks us would you like to would you like the camera interface to be enabled and yes we want to enable so just hit enter and then it says the camera interface is enabled and then say ok so hit enter and then use a tab button and on a laptop and then select the finish okay till the finish gets selected and then hit enter and this is how we will going to select um, this is how we will going to enable the camera interface on our Raspberry Pi 4 the next step is to apply the changes we have made sudo reboot reboot is the command to restart the Raspberry Pi so that the changes that we have made will be applied okay so let me close this everything okay and then I have just uh, as bitwise SSH client okay and it might take a couple of uh, seconds to reconnect the Raspberry Pi I hope it will come up quickly and uh, okay it says accept for the session and you will see the black screen will pop up okay it doesn't come so just click on new terminal console it will give us the new terminal console and then new SFTP window we need it later so just open it up and go to the black screen I would like to run a clear command now to capture the image using Raspberry Pi camera module we have to use a command Raspberry still so basically the way you use this camera module is basically to access uh, this camera over Raspberry Pi is by using a command and Raspberry Pi still is one of the command to access the camera modules on Raspberry Pi so we will write a Raspberry Pi still and then minus O to output uh, we want to capture the image so I would give it a name like let's say Umesh it's my name dot JPEG and hit enter and this basically will capture the image using my Raspberry Pi camera, Raspberry Pi camera connected to Raspberry Pi. And uh, make sure that I'm running this command in my home directory. So I run ls command to list um, the directories and files. And you see umesh.jpg file is, is created, right? So this is the image that we have captured. Now to see this image, I want to take you to the SFTP terminal. And you see here in SFTP in the left right side there is a Raspberry Pi so I can refresh and you see this omesh.jpg file. I can move it to my desktop on my laptop in the left side of SFTP terminal and you see right now omesh.jpg and you see here the omesh this one image that came. So I will double click and open the file and you can see this is me uh, recording the video and this is how we will going to capture the image right so let me close this go back to the Raspberry Pi terminal and now um, this is how you capture the image now when it comes to capture the video then you have to use a command Raspberry width for video minus O to output what we want to output is the video right so I would going to say my video dot H264. So dot H264 is the AVC that means advanced uh, video coding that is you know type of the video that you uh, were well going to record out of this Raspberry Pi camera module right so that's the extension make sure it's a AVC that is what it means like advanced video coding right codec or coding or something like that so hit enter and it takes maybe um, a couple of seconds and it will take uh, five seconds of video I guess so just run ls command and you see where is my video so this is my video dot h dot 264 now to uh, watch the video I have to do the same thing I have to go back to my sftp uh, terminal uh, refresh my remote files on Raspberry Pi and uh, here if I scroll down you see here is my video dot h264 so I can just drag and drop it to my laptop means a desktop basically and you see here is the file right 
so once the transfer is completed I can minimize this and uh, if I try to open this uh, in the Windows Media Player it won't work okay so I rather close this uh, to watch the video that you have recorded you have to right click on a file and open with a power media player so you don't need to install this it uh, comes installed by default on Windows machine and you can see the video right it's my video uh, uh, recording this this video right so let me run once again the quality is not good not bad I'm using a Raspberry Pi camera version 1.3 and this is expected so I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining maybe in the next video or something I would going to make a little more advanced and uh, we'll see us into the next lesson bye bye for now